The M210 RTK is the new uh, industrial inspection unit by DJI. So as you can see up the top here, we've got the dual uh, GPS for the RTK setup. And then on the front here, we've got the uh, dual gimbal setup as well. So this has the flexible options of different camera setups. So you can have two cameras on the front, you can have a single camera on the front, or you can have a, a single upwards facing camera on the top there as well. The beauty of this machine is that it's incredibly accurate. So instead of getting you know, a few centimeters um, either way, you get centimeter accuracy, which is fantastic. It means that it's incredibly reliable. The Sendence remote control here is uh, a new programmable remote that DJI has released. It basically gives you control over a whole lot of different parameters and lets you really get into the nuts and bolts of um, you know, getting the, dr the drone to do exactly what you want it to do. It gives you some really cool functionalities in terms of controlling the, the two different um, axes of the gimbal. So on the, the back here, um, one of the things that I like about it is that you've got these dual wheels and they both control your pitch or your axes on the, the camera. So as you can see on the back here, both the, the Crystal Sky and the Sendence both have removable batteries, which is a new feature for the remote controller. Being able to interchange the batteries on long jobs will make a big difference. On the side here, you can see that we've got some programmable buttons on the, the Crystal Sky as well. So you've got function buttons and menu buttons as well as the power button on the top here. And then if we flip this one around, on this side, we've got a few different ports as well. So there's an HDMI port, we've got a couple of memory card slots, and there's also a micro USB port as well. With the Sentence Remote Controller, we've got a few different features here. We've got all the different programmable buttons here. We've got a focus wheel on the front here, which is a fantastic improvement from a camera point of view. Being able to control the fine, fine focus on your camera is a really great uh, function to have. We've got a wheel here, which allows you, I believe, to control the ISO or the aperture, all those kinds of functions. We've got an LCD screen down the bottom here, which is like a status menu, which is great. And then on the back here, you can see that we've got a whole bunch of different buttons. So you've got the usual photo and video record buttons. You've got autofocus here. Um, there's the flight modes, of course. And then we've also got the um, a couple of other programmable buttons. Regarding the weight of the sentence, it is a little bit heavier. Obviously, you're getting a whole lot more kit here and the, the screen is a little bit heavier, um, but I think that that will just mean that you rely a little bit more on your lanyard or by using a tripod mount. All in all, it's a, a fantastic unit. Side by side here, you can see the two 7.85 inch screens. The brightness on this one is a lot brighter than the standard 7.85 inch, hence the term ultra bright. If you're working in uh, bright sunlight conditions, if you're working in a reflective in, in an environment where you're gonna get lots of reflections, then this is gonna be the kind of screen that you're after. But I found that even the 7.85 inch regular brightness is still really easy to see in full sun. So uh, it, I guess it depends on your, your requirements and your desires. The big thing to note with these Crystal Sky screens is that the uh, they only run the DJI Go 4 or DJI Go apps at this stage. There's no um, word from DJI as to whether they're gonna be releasing uh, the DJI XT or DJI Ground Station Pro apps for these devices, but fingers crossed.